good morning everyone and happy thursday welcome to my vlog if you guys are new here my name is emily 26 years old living in dallas texas i just woke up i look very glamorous and i am a news reporter so i'm taking you guys along my day as i do a story shoot have meetings and just do a bunch of stuff so i'm really excited to take you guys along with me today i've done a couple videos like this so if you really like it make sure to subscribe i do a lot of content on my job if you want to see other content comment down below and i will share some things with you guys just let me know what you want today is a very gloomy gloomy thursday it's supposed to be bad weather which is kind of concerning because i have a shoot outside today in about two hours so and it's like 90 percent chance of rain so we'll see how that goes. Not really sure what's gonna go on. But I'm really excited to meet this woman. She seems very kind. We're gonna do a story regarding a motel next to an elementary school. So let's go ahead, get dressed, get going for today's shoot. See what I'm talking about? It is so gloomy. You're so cute. Here is the fit for the day. Don't mind my messy closet in the background. I thrifted this blazer. It is a Nordstrom. Kate Spade something I don't, I don't remember but I really really like it I'm wearing jeans today it is rainy so I just didn't really care and this black top with sneakers because we're gonna be in like a field doing like at a construction site so I wanted to dress like in my dirty shoes because <laughs> I don't really care and so I'm just meeting with a parent so it'll be fine and then I'm wearing these big chunky silver earrings I've been getting a lot of compliments on these I guess because they're just so chunky I don't really know they kind of stand out but I do like them so I'm gonna wear those today I do need to put a lip on but first we're gonna take Goose out and go potty for him so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna pack everything up and then head out the door in my work car it is 8 47 i need to be there at 9 30 it says i'll be there at 9 26 so i have four minutes to get gas um i do need gas i have 39 miles and it takes 39 miles to get there so cannot be running on fumes so we're gonna get some gas and then we will head to Keller, Texas. It's a matter of morals. You know, morally, like, this is not right. You know, whether you're a parent or not, would you want your kids here? Thinking of all the things that have happened in Texas, thinking of, you know, uh, human trafficking and stuff like that, it's just, it makes no sense. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Just a few feet away from an element, oh, Jesus. Just a few feet away, just a few feet away from an elementary school construct, oh, I messed it up. Causing concern among parents and educators, no. Construction on a Motel 6, no, a Studio 6. Just a few feet away from an elementary school, a, there's a one. Construction for a Studio 6 motel has begun, causing concern for parents and, no, three, two, one. Just a few feet away from an elementary school, construction has begun on a Studio 6 motel, causing concerns for parents and city officials. So it's much later. It is 10.15. I've already had my interview and I did my stand up and I'm still getting some video. I'm actually checking to see if I even have enough real quick. I did quite did get quite a few shots yesterday, um, but I am just going to get a few extra of like the name of the school and a few shots of the school itself, but it is so rainy and there is an EMS crew that I've worked with before that is like literally watching me while I was shooting my stand up, which was kind of funny. They like literally got out of their car to like look. It was funny. Anyways, stuff like that happens all the time. I'm used to it. 
but I am going to get some shots of the school and then I think I'm gonna find myself a little coffee shop to work at and I need to get some emails done and then we'll head home and work on my script for a story I have to turn in today. So I'm in my car. It is almost 1.30. I am still at Starbucks, but I got in my car. I'm working on my little desk. This is like a little pink desk I got off Amazon that connects to my steering wheel. And I need to voice or track my voice. Um, and it's too loud in Starbucks with all like the people talking and the music and everything. So I'm going to do that. And then we are gonna finish editing. The story is due by four, but I'm gonna try and submit it by two, 2.30. And then we need to make some phone calls and I'm gonna head home. Do you wanna watch me track my voice? It's gonna, it's gonna take a minute. I just use voice memos. I have like so many voice memos, I need to delete them. Let's do this. So I have my script on my desktop and I just read it how you would normally read as a reporter. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there. Skylar Malone, a transgender student at Timber Creek High School, expressed her disappointment after hearing the cancellation of the Laramie Project. She entered all classmates for months, preparing for their roles only to be silenced. In color, I'm Emily Pounds. Maybe I need to like record myself recording myself more often because that was pretty good.